Welcome back everybody to another fine love or die trying and yeah please subscribe like comment share to friends and loved ones let's get back to the game shall we I have our escape plan she took out the master key and held it out for us to see there's a hidden hangar I found by the beach just a little further from where I first found the plane now that we have this key and we know how that it works, we can use it to disable the hangar security, command commandeer a plane, then fly the hell out of here. I practically jump for joy. I can't believe it, we're almost out of here. It's been a long time coming. Well soon, but not just yet. With this storm raging, there's no way we're getting anywhere tonight. Least of all, the ground. Least of all, off the ground. But if there's clear skies tomorrow night, that's where we'll be. What about the computer? Don't you need to crack it before we go? Yeah, what about our f your family? Well, that'd be the ideal case. But honestly, I've, I've gotten to know you guys and care about you guys and I... I've decided that it's more important to save the people I care about that are right in front of me than chase a pipe dream. No, I won't accept it. If I were in your shoes and I was looking for my sisters and I just gave up looking for them, I'd regret it forever and I know you would too. But I can't ask you guys to stay here any longer. We're in danger if we stay here. Yui speaks for us too. If you have family that you really care about and that cares about you too, you can't give up on that. We're not going anywhere till we crack that code even if it takes till the last day. You guys. No, I can't allow it. I won't take that chance with your lives. I'm not backing down on this. We need to take this chance. Ali, I think you need this. I... Guys, guys, take a chill pill for a second. I'm a programming god, best of the best. I'm going to have that code cracked by tomorrow and that's a promise. So don't worry, okay? I love you guys. Thank you so much, really. Why are you thanking all of us? I'm the one who has to write the code and shit. We laugh together, something that I thought might have been impossible after the initial bad news. We're in this together and we're getting out together. No one gets left behind. After we called it a night, I laid in bed, deep in thought. Who'd have thought I could have ended today feeling inspired after everything that happened last night? We've got this. We... A sleepy, one more thing before we turn in for the night. What's up, Tara? I got caught up in the heat of the moment earlier and... Oh no. I got no idea. Oh no, 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 no. I do not like where this is going. How to do this? Because I remember that all I, all I know about hacking or videos of people typing really fast and saying, I'm in and... Ugh. I practically flew out of the bed. I thank god it was just a nightmare. What does it take to get a good night's sleep on a killer dating show? Come on. What are you smiling about? Yesterday, it just feels like things are going my way lately. Yesterday's date with Violet still has me feeling as giddy as a little kid. It's almost like there's perks of being on a killer dating show. Well, don't get too comfortable. You still got a few days left and then it's back to the regular. I'm looking forward to that. I bet better sooner than later. You cost too much to keep around. Anyway. Sorry about the background noise. If we heard the broom broom. The million dollar question. Who's today's lucky girl? That'd be... So tomorrow is going to be either Terra or Ali. Hmm, it's be probably best we go with Terra. But doesn't Terra need time to crack the code? Nah, I already finished making the code breakers, trying every password as we speak. No guarantee it'll finish before we're both done our dates, but it's worth a shot. Thank you, Terra. Don't worry about it. Besides, I think it's better if we save your date for last. Why is that? I don't know, you're some super spy from some super secret organization. You definitely got bigger heist potential than I do. I don't know about that, but sounds good to me. I'm using the time to- Oh god. <clears throat> I need some water, man. I'll use the water to prepare. I'll use the time to prepare some contingency plans. Scarlet, Violet, Yui, I'm gonna need you guys for this. I'm happy to provide assistance. You bet. Oh, I hit the mic twice. I'll help however I can. Sweet. All right. Uh, right. A sleepy. What's up? I think just with a code breaker, I built a game that works with it too. What do you mean? She handed me her console. I just whipped it up real quick. It looks like a code breaking game but really works directly with the computer we found. If we get the password right in this game, we'll have access to the computer. Make sense? Amazing! I can't believe you whipped up something so fast. It wasn't hard. It was just a big middle finger to my mom who thought all my screen time was a waste of time. Anyway, I figured we can't play this game here there doing, and there doing our date. Try whatever passwords come to mind. Obviously not for the whole date, because ratings and all, but as much as you can. 
Sounds like a plan, hombre. Wow, I'm a genius, sleepy. She cackled me not maniacally. You are. I'd like to spend today with Terra. Is that so? Well, we'll make it happen. Try not to spend all of it playing games, though. Believe it or not, that isn't what viewers want in a prime time slot. No promises, but I'll try my best. It ain't much, but I'll take that. Sorry, Cat. That's pretty much the plan. Hey, Sleepy, you have to play some games? I'd love to, but Cat wants us to do some other games it is. Sweet. There's no stopping Terra when she puts her mind to something. We started playing together in the games room while making pleasant conversation. Normal enough to seem like a regular conversation, cryptic enough to disguise what we were trying to do. Even if Terra and I never went on crazy adventures like I did with Ali, it didn't make moments with her any less special. If I forgot what we were trying to hack into some confidential database, this really is like a fun day at home with your partner. How about Terra is the best? It's worth a shot. Nope, no, it doesn't work. The nerve of them. Terra rules? That's a miss. What's the T capitalized? Maybe add a 0, 1, 2, 3 at the end of it? Thank goodness we have the code breaker running in the background. Time to switch gears. Let's give Kat some footage to work with to keep us alive. Good God, a sleepy. Why the sun? Ah, go on without me. Okay, maybe this wasn't the best idea. Some way or another, we always end up back inside the mansion, huh? Oh, sorry. You forgot. And there's nothing wrong with that. I guess you're right. Up for a few more rounds of that game we just played? Sure. How about Damon Black sucks? Nope, doesn't work. Cat Black sucks? Nope, not that either. How about the Sleepy? Oh, come on now. Now you're just guessing. Like I wasn't before. Well, I'll try it. Ding ding! The two of us look at each other like deer in the headlights. Interesting. Cat's password is a Sleepy. Hmm. What? We cheered as if our favorite team just won at the sporting event. Wait a minute, why would the password be your name? That doesn't make any sense. My guess is as good as yours. Maybe we'll find out tonight. I hope so. Well, I think I've had enough of games, to of games for today. I never thought I'd hear you say that, Tara. I'm full of surprises. We can spread the good news after. How about we try something new today? Something outside? Sounds like a plan to me. Awesome, let's go! We ended up going back inside a minute later, but the rest of the day with Terra was still a lot of fun. And we're in! The password's prompt closed with a satisfying ding ding. Whoa, there's a lot of stuff in here. Why would there be a folder called Homework? Whoa, that's definitely uh, a porn folder name. Terra's about to open it until Ali intervened. Do you mind if I take a look? I forget why we were here for a second, sure. Let's see. Ali started going through folders, databases, reports, anything that could be useful. At the same time, Terra started downloading all of the files to her console. Doesn't look like there's anything here about why my name was a password. All the rest of us could do was give Ali and Terra the space they needed. Seems like it's only going to be up from here, team. I was scared for Ali, especially if we couldn't get into the computer, but it looks like we got it after all. It's too soon to say anything, but I do hope you're right. Let's not jinx it. So what's the first thing you're going to do when you're out of here? I thought we weren't going to jinx it. That sounds like a that sounds like a flag, you know. That's like a red flag right there. I'm going to get straight back to helping people the way I know best. Nothing's changed in that regard. That is a lovely aspiration. Do me a favor and make sure your inventions don't get used on yourself again, okay? I mean, it's not like I was trying to. I admire how you can be so sure. As excited as I am to leave this place, I'm not quite sure what I'll be doing after. That's so did okay, Violet. That's part of the fun of life, just figuring it out as you go. I... I suppose so. Violet looks at me and smiles. That's pretty much my plan at this point, too. Oh, sorry. Wow, I skipped it. Guess who's back? Bitch! What Terra was, wants to say is we did it. I've got everything I need to help turn the tide of the war, and I know where my family is, and they're alive. I've never seen Ali so happy. She jumped towards me and hugged me. Oof. That's fantastic. That's such a relief. I'm so happy for you, Ali. Good job, Terra. You cracked the code not, not all at once now. I couldn't have done it without you guys. Thank you so much. We didn't have to wait this long to leave, but you guys did it for me and my family. I can't ever thank you enough. She pulled out the master key from her back pocket and swirled it around in her right hand. You guys ready to get out of here? Actually, I was thinking of staying here for the rest of my life. Not having internet is the best thing ever. I couldn't agree more. Uh, let's get out of here. After you, Ali. Oh, wow, we're going through all the sceneries, huh? 
We followed Ali out of the mansion through the forest into the hangar. Oh, I did not see this. Granted, I don't go outside. I don't blame you. It's pretty out of the way, you know? Not that we have to worry about it now. Ali pulled out the master key and swirled it around her right hand. She walked to the door of the hangar and put the key into its lock. Huh? She tried to turn it, but it didn't work. She tried a few more times, but the lock refused to budge. I... I don't understand. I've seen Kat use this key everywhere, including here. They must have changed the locks. Does this mean we're stuck here? I don't... It was rare that Ali tripped over her words. It hurts to see her so defeated. I don't know. An uncomfortable silence fell over us. Am I going to die here? Are all of us... I... No, we are not out of this just yet. I refuse to give up again. But we can't get into the hangar. There's no way to break in without triggering the alarms. For, for now, yes. But getting in later is a different story. If I remember correctly, whenever you went on a third date with a CP, you would fly in a plane together. But I'm assuming the plane was you two. It's just like, you know, you to try something crazy and drag in a sleepy. I can't refute that. That was definitely us. How we never died in those plane rides, I'll never know. That means the staff don't mind if you take the plane during the date, which means we should be able to ask for the key temporarily. We'd still be able to get the plane, it just has to be during tomorrow's date. There'd be way more stuff around than usual, but we'd still have a chance. Exactly, the rest of us can be relatively close by, perhaps at the beach to avoid suspicion. Then when you get the plane, we run over, you pick us up and we're out of here. Oh wait, oops, and we are out of here, there we go. This could work. It's better than how my plan turned out anyway. I was worried for a second here, there, but it was for nothing. We've got this. We'd be in a tight spot without you. It is a team effort. Without each of us here, we would be stuck here with no chance of escape, I'm sure. Uh, speak for yourself. I'm sure we could get out of here on my own. You would shut down the second you reach the beach, Terra. On second thought, maybe teamwork makes the dream work. We laughed together, the mood was infinitely better than it was just a few moments ago. We spent the rest of the night talking through the details of the plan, including what we'd do if the unexpected happened. One thing was for sure though, we weren't giving up on getting out of here. It all ends tomorrow. What do you know, Sleepy? You actually made it to the last one-on-one -on -one date. How are you feeling? Pretty good? I'm excited to see how a day with Ali will be. Oh, you got a real surprise in store. She has all of us in the crew working extra hard to prepare a special date for you. And by all of us in the crew, I mean the brothers five. How about you go find her, spend some time together while we set things up for you. Sounds like a plan, Cat. Let's see. Oh, looks like she's by the beach. Guess that's where I'm headed. Don't do anything we can't air. Murder is okay, but God forbid someone takes their top off. I waved to Cat as I went on my way. Just as Kat said, Allie was by the beach. She was she was looking out at the ocean. Morning, Allie. A sleepy, it's always nice to see you. The difference between Allie's voice during the day and night was like day and night. I guess we do have to worry about the cameras, but still, it takes some time getting used to. I know it's going to be tough to top your previous dates with all the other girls, but I think I have a good shot. I'm looking forward to it, Allie. You better be. We've been saving the best for last. To reach for my hand. Walk with me? I reached for her outstretched hand. It'll be my pleasure. The two of us walked around the beach for a while getting to know each other. So what will you be doing when the show's over? First things I'm gonna do is say hey to my family again and make them a nice dinner. I'm sure that they've gone, they've gone sick with worrying the week since I've been gone. I wonder what they're thinking now. It's been at least two years since then. Kat was right. Sometimes not remembering is a blessing. Ali doesn't have that luxury. A anyway, I've got a surprise for you. Come on. She pulled me along by the hand of the forest. I have to say, Ali's really impressed me. Of course, it was her deliberate plan to come to the forest and get to the hangar, but she made it seem so spontaneous. You're going to love... It? I saw it the moment she did. It was all we could do was stand and watch. No! She staggered and almost fell. And who could blame her? The hangar was engulfed in roaring flames. The heat was incredible. There was no way either of us could take another step towards the hangar without being burned alive. The stench of burning oil assaulted me without mercy. We were at loss, at a loss for words. And in front of all those flames was her walking away from the flames. Somehow I just know it was her. Sorry, Ali Sleepy, there's been a small change of plans. I'm sure you can tell, but we've hit a few snags with the hangar. How about you to spend your day on the ground instead? I want to scream. I want to attack her with every bone in my body.
Okay, no, let's not, let's not do anything. But I can't. I can't or I'll be killed. And not just me, but everyone else. To hold, my, to hold myself back from giving away what this plane meant to me took all the strength I had. I need to calm down. Cat might be able to read my face and see that. Sounds fine to me, Cat. I'm just glad you're safe. What happened? We're still looking into it. Well, either way, there's nothing we can do about that. How about we go somewhere else, so sleepy? She reached for my hand and held it tight. How could she smile like this at me? Of course, Allie. For the rest of the day, Allie and I put in the performance of a lifetime. Though our faces rolled smiles and laughter, we knew now more than ever that we were trapped in Kat's macabre... The macabre puppet show. And Kat lo loved to make us dance. She must have known we were trying to escape, but how? Did we make a mistake? Did four give us away? Should we ever ha have trusted him in the first place? Who can I trust now? Time is ticking and the end of the show looms closer and closer. It's time I'm supposed to meet with a group, but... What would we even do? There's no way we can escape. Our last chance died with the hangar. Should I just make a break for it? No, I'd never make it and the others would suffer for my mistake. What do I do? Oh, sorry. You don't look so good as sleepy. I've been better, cat. It hasn't been exactly been sunshine and rainbows today. You really aren't much for acting, are you, sleepy? Look, I already know about you and your plan to escape. My blood ran cold. You know, take the plane, fly away from here. It wasn't hard to figure out. I tried to say something in my defense, but my voice wouldn't come out. It was all I could do to stand wide-eyed. I know you and the others found the lab, got your memories back. Well, at least the others did. And I know that every night you all work together to try to find a way out. I mean, of course I'd know. I'm the reason why you got this far. What do you mean? Just follow me. You'll save, us, you'll save all of us time. Rock to the locked room near the games room. She took out her master key and spun it around. You never really thought the bunny could take a key from me, right? Honestly, I don't know what to believe anymore. She opened the door. The others were inside looking as surprised as I was. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't kill you right now, cat. How about two? First, your inside man was never four. It was me. I mean, come on. He wouldn't be smart enough for something like this. Second, you only ever had a chance at escaping this island because of me. Newsflash, Ali, those tanks never just bugged out. You're you're the one who let me out of my tank. The one and only. Ali was a lo loss for words, and I was no different. What do you want, Cat? Honestly, the same thing as you guys. I want off this crazy train. I want out. I want you guys to include me in your little escape plan. What? Do I have something on my face? As hard as it is to believe, the list of people who want to stay on this island is pretty short. Hell no, we can't we can't trust you. I'm not sure how, but I remember I remember I tried to escape with you before. I trusted you, I even fell for you. Even five girls isn't enough? Unbelievable! And then you betrayed me and shot me. There's no way we could ever trust you. You're just going to stab us in the stab us in the back. Is that true, Kat? I'm ashamed to say it is, but I didn't have a choice. You know how it is with Damien. It doesn't matter if you share the same blood. We'll take the people you have love hostage and use them to force you to dance to his tune. I'm sorry I betrayed you, Sleepy. I really am. But if I had to do it again, I'd do it again in a heartbeat because there was someone I needed to save. I know I must look like a, the villain to you, but believe me, I have people I care about too. If you're so compassionate, how come you burn up our only way out of here? You're lucky I did, Sleepy. If you'd actually flown this plan, you'd all be at the bottom of the ocean right now. What do you mean? It's a cool trick by of Damien's. He knew there was a chance that people on this show would recover their memories and try to escape. So he made us build the hangar and the plane. It's the one place anyone trying to escape would go. Exactly. I've told you in the past, Ali, never fly that plane or take the boat out of sight of this island. If you did, you'd have blown up like fireworks. That Ali and I were in that plane, which was a little more than a flying death trap, sent a chill down my spine. Look, the simple reality is you need me to escape. Without me, you won't even make it past the barrier. What barrier? Exactly. And though I hate it, I need you guys to help me and my... Us escape. She reached her hand towards me for a handshake. Allies? Let's discuss first. Cat leaned against the wall while the rest of us debated what to do. Can we really trust her? This might just be another trap. It's not like I'd be, be the first it's not like it'd be the first by her you fall into, a sleepy. You're right. That said, it's not like we have much to lose at this point. Even if she'd done terrible things to us in the past, we still need her to escape. You alright, Allie? I'm fine. I'm just angry at myself. Hey, don't beat yourself up about it. We're still alive, that's what counts. She's right, you know. 
I'm I'm not sure how I'm feeling right now either, but we're alive. That counts for something. You're right, Sleepy. And as much as I hate to say it, I think we will need Cat's help, trustworthy or not, if we want to stay that way. We have to trust her. Sure, I'll be keeping an eye on her though. All of us, sister. We can't afford to blindly trust anyone who says they can help us. Alright, Cat, if you want our help, we're going to need to answer a few questions. Ass away! What the hell is this sick show for? And why have you been forcing us to repeat it over and over? As someone from the Resistance, it should be obvious to you. This is just one, hundred, one of hundreds of killing shows be air. Shows that keep people scared, that keep people from organizing against the government. You want to paralyze people with fear? You broadcast exactly what will happen to you if you rise up. You're monsters, you know that? I don't disagree with you, but we're not in charge here. Some of us still have families to lose, Ali. Continue. Before we air each show, we test them internally on test audiences to see what kind of ratings they bring for the fortunate and what kind of despair they bring for the less fortunate. If they tested well enough, we'd air it, but it wasn't efficient. But we're gonna just film a kidding show over and over again to see which version of it we air rated best. You can't bring people back from the dead, you know. It was the same for the test audiences, you can just make them watch multiple versions of the show as they'd remember previous versions that would influence their opinions. There was uh, no way to test multiple versions of a show without losing the feelings that lives were really in danger. But my, the memory rewriter could have changed that. It did. We were able to reuse everybody, our volunteer actors, the test audiences since we could just make people forget what happened. We could film run after the, we could film run after run of the show where each was as if it were the first time to all of you. And that's exactly what we've been doing for here for the last two years. It was a lot to hear. I had the feeling, but to know that people looked at us like we were nothing but lab rats, while I genuinely was afraid for my life. It's sickening. We were silent for a while. If you've been testing the show this long, where's the real thing? There is no real thing. It's only what version tests the best. That's it. There's only so much time Damien is willing to spend on this show and that time is almost up. This is the last run of the show. If you don't escape before the end, you're all as good as dead. I know Damien and I have said that we'd let you and your chosen partner go if you achieved good enough ratings, but it's a lie, isn't it? Yeah, I'm sorry. I waited this long to try to help you guys. I've been too scared to risk it all, but I have nothing left to lose now. She extended her hand to me for a handshake. Allies, at least still we're out of here? I don't really have a choice this time either, huh? If you wanted to, you could report us right now. That's true, and my word would count for more than all of yours. But that wouldn't save the person I need to. Like it or not, we have to work together. Then it's a deal. Ali shook Kat's hand. Kat, are you sure you don't want to? I'm fine, Scarlet. It's not important anymore, and we don't have any time to waste. If you say so. Anyway, the only time we can escape is the last day of the show between midnight and just before the sun goes up. That's when the boat comes to welcome the newly engaged couple and that's the only way off this island alive. It also doubles as a supply ship. We use it to replenish between each run of the show. Are there no other planes on the island? A boat would be far slower. Unfortunately, it's not so easy. There's a protective shell around the island which performs two functions. First, it renders us invisible to satellite. It's a reason why your people couldn't find us, Ali. Second, if anything bigger than a human being tries to get in or outside of the barrier, it'll get fried unless it's emitting a compatible IFF signal. The only way off the island that will have that signal is the boat. I'm betting it'll be heavily guarded. Well, yes, but not from the people on it. The ship itself will be run by a skeleton crew. It's the staff on the island who we will have to watch out for. That still leaves the question of how we'll deal with them. Last time I checked, there's hundreds of them and not even 10 of us. Actually, it might not be so hard after all. I've got a plan that just might work. Though I have to admit, it's a little crazy. I like the sound of that. If it involves zombies again, I'm out. You explained her plan to us with a renewed confidence that could inspire anyone to believe. Luckily, we still have tomorrow, so we have just the amount of time we need. This just might work, Yui. You're a mad genius. Let's just say I've been holding back my creativity until now. It's crazier than anything I'd imagined and crazy enough to work. Let's get to work. Wait, wait, wait. Were we even listening to the same plan? The others went their separate ways to help prepare for Yui's plan. But Kat stayed. Our business wasn't finished, finished just yet. What's up? How am I supposed to trust you? I want to trust you, Kat. I really do. But you burned me before. How could I ever trust you now? That's fair. The only thing I can say to try to keep to make you trust me is that we both have people we care about as sleepy. And that if you don't escape, then the person I care about will go down with you. 
I'm not asking for you to put your neck out for me. You'll never have to. I'm asking for you to help somebody that you've never met and you never will. Somebody innocent. It's strange. This woman has put me through hell, treated me like a lab rat and more and yet, somehow I think she's telling the truth. Honestly, it doesn't really matter if you do trust me. You'll see tomorrow that I'm going along with Yui's plan either way. I'll trust you, Kat. I'm sorry for yelling at you earlier. Don't be. I literally shot you. I think that earns you the right to be angry and more, no? We've... Well, I've gotten to know you over these past years. Not for more than a couple weeks straight, but I got to know you. And I think you're rude and manipulative and have no problem lying to my face. Hey, can we skip to the part where you compliment me? You're also incredibly, incredibly crass. You keep secrets from everybody and... You finish? But I don't think you're a bad person. Every time the show ran, you always talked to me to make me feel like I wasn't alone. And you made sure I never lose hope. I know that was never part of the job, you didn't have to do that, yet you did it over and over. It must have been so tiring to do that over and over, full well knowing that we were doomed. I don't know why you're doing all this, but I believe that you do care about hel helping people. I'm flattered or sleepy, but you've got me wrong. What do you mean? Everything I've ever done for you, the others, it's been for my own selfish reasons. It just happens to line up nicely. Though I appreciate the compliment. Unlike before, I couldn't tell if she was telling the truth. Mm-hmm. We went our separate ways shortly after. I spent the rest of the night helping the others with preparing for the plan. I was exhausted when I went back to my room, but I still couldn't fall asleep for several hours. It's as if something's on the tip of my tongue, and I, but I just barely can't grasp it. Yet somehow, I know I'm closer than I've ever been. Kat was true to her word. Instead of having another date on the sixth day of the show, she planned a huge party for the staff instead. A thank you for all your hard work party. As soon as she told me that her staff that Violet would be cooking for the event, all of them dropped everything and helped prepare for it. While the staff prepared the party grounds during the day, each of us were hard at work making sure other parts of it went well. Violet cooked mountains of food as if her life depended on it. In truth, it did. Yui was playing games with the staff outside, it didn't take long for her to become a fast favorite for them. I'm pretty sure half the staff were playing the games just so they could get her to notice them and she knew it. I have to admit, I'm really impressed by Yui, her plan is really coming together. Terra and Scarlet joined forces to- uh, Terra and Scarlet joined forces to make sure all the staff joined the festivities. Terra used Kat's producer room to find any stragglers who hadn't joined the festivities. As Terra found them one by one, Scarlet turned on the charm and made sure that they came with her to the party. Then when it was time for Scarlet to switch to her other mission, Ali took over, although I'm told she employed more force than charm. Meanwhile, I ran around like a chicken with its head cut off, trying to make sure every part of our plan was going smoothly. And for once, it did. A few hours later, we had every staff member on the island partying their lights out. Everybody's here? You bet. You should have seen the ones that tried to run. I made sure everyone who came stayed too. Perfect. Everybody's eating as they should have. It's fine food. Looks like it's all going to. Looks like it's all going according to plan. I'm just going to go ahead and get to the fun part. Scarlet pulled out the remote from her pocket and pressed a button on it. A few seconds later, fireworks were shooting into the night sky above the party grounds. The cheers of the staff were like thunder, and with that, the plan is going as smoothly as can be. Great job, team. We owe you one, Yui. Right back at you, Ali. We cheered as fireworks after fireworks lit up this night's sky. Whoa, are fireworks supposed to be this bright? Come to think of it, these fireworks are practically blinding. Or blinding. I have to say, I did a pretty good job with these fireworks. Though there might be some side effects to watching them from so close. Hmm. Let's worry about that later. The fireworks were the signal to those trying to escape that there was nothing left to do except wait. It's going to be a long night. I know what we said before, but it'd be such a shame to spend tonight just worrying over what may happen tomorrow. We might live, we might die, same as any other day. How about instead we just dance the night away? You know what? That sounds great. That sounds lovely. Let's do it. Come on, let's dance like there's no tomorrow. Yuck! Don't be like that, Terra. It'd be good for us to blow off some steam. Dancing sounds like exercise and exercise. Ali picked up Terra over her shoulder. And away we go. Come on, come on. Scarlet grabbed my hand and pulled me with her to where people were dancing. The others followed close behind. They sure are carefree, huh? Some things never change. Maybe we'll get out of here tomorrow. Maybe we won't? I hope we do, though. I like to think that one day we look back and remember this day. It was the most fun night I've ever had out of the nights that I can remember. We lived like there was no tomorrow. And now we'll find out if there is a tomorrow for us. Oh. 
We waited in the darkness for hours, waiting for the boat to come. The plan was simple, yet had no room for error. First, we need to make sure the boat really is coming. It's later than usual. You think they're onto us? No, it'll just be a little longer. It's cold. There's no point worrying at this point. If they're onto us now, we're already dead. All we can do is wait. We waited for an hour more, then another, then another. We were losing hope. I guess we're... It's here. Cat pointed towards the ocean. We all looked in unison. Just as she said, the boat was coming. It looked huge. Despite how far it was, it must be massive from up close. Alright, it's only going to be a few minutes before it reaches the shore. Let's book it back to the mansion. Second, we need to get back to the mansion before the boat reaches the shore. From what Kat told us, the staff will physically inspect the mansion to make sure we're there and we can't rely on overriding the feeds. If we're not there, they'll sound the alarm and our chances of escaping will be from slim to nil. Or to nile, I don't know. According to Kat, it's how I got caught last time. We made it back to the mansion and rushed to our respective rooms. I turned off the light, then jumped into the bed and pretended to be asleep. A few moments later, I heard the sound of somebody opening a door. It must be them. There, were, there was a mechanical rhythm to it. Footsteps, a door would open, more footsteps, a short pause, footsteps again, a door would close, repeat. Over and over, closer and closer till it got to my room. I tried my best to make my breathing sound natural. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in. Footsteps, a second later, my door opens. I can tell there's probably about five people. Breathe in. They're walking closer to me. Breathe out. I can tell two of them are in front of me. They're muttering somewhere under their breath. You have to pity her. Come on, she could do better. Rude. Breathe in. Hey, something's wrong. Feels like my heart stopped. Breathe out. They're moving closer to me step by step. What's that? Breathe in. I think. It takes everything I have not to move when every nerve in my body screams to run. This is it. They're on to me. I can't help but ball up the fist of my hand. I... Never mind. We're done for the night. Let's head out. Sounds good to me. I heard them walk further away from me, then outside the room. Finally, they close the door. I breathe out like never before. On to the next part of the plan. We regroup downstairs. That wasn't so difficult, was it? Like taking candy from a baby. Wait, where's Tara? I'll go check on her. As if on cue, Tara came running down the stairs. I'm good, don't worry about it. Um, and I definitely didn't fall asleep just now. I didn't buy it and the rest of us didn't either. Alright, back to the problem at hand. We may have avoided, avoided detection for now, but now there's going to be upwards of 100 guards on patrol between here and the boat. There's little to no chance we can all make it there without being seen, but it's a chance we'll have to take. Actually, we had just a thing for that. Courtesy of Scarlet and I. What's that? Well, we went through all the trouble of preparing such a big party for all the staff. It would be a shame if we didn't give them a little extra to chew on, no? You didn't. Oh, she did. It was like an absurd scene from an art house movie gone mad. Or gone bad. I know it, the brains, the bananas, it's gonna happen. Hundreds of zombies hit the field. You know, I can't believe we ever let you make shit, Scarlet. You better be glad that you did. Now that, they, now that I think about it, couldn't we have just, you know, put a sleeping agent or something like that in? Where's the fun in that? Well, we still have to go past them to get to the boat, right? Don't worry about it. I've got a fair share of experience in taking down zombies. Something about that rubs me the wrong way. Don't worry about it. It's beyond our way. We managed to sneak out of the mansion without mu much of a fuss. As soon as we got into the forest, it was smooth sailing. There were just a few zombies in there. To be honest, how could Scarlet enjoy herself taking them down was more concerning. Alright, I'm gonna end this video right here. It's 34-ish minutes in. And Sandra's barking. Hopefully you liked the video. Subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye. And maybe in the next episode will be the ending. Hmm.